Tenth episode. Boom, baby. All right. As you can tell, the swell is on my shirt. Making the Bloody Mary. It is a meal. Yes, you can see people in other restaurants have made it a meal. I've seen one with a whole 20 pound chicken. Oh yeah. Um, but a uh, little backstory. Um, was bartending four years ago in a restaurant when I was working in college. Um, and they had a Bloody Mary, but I loved the recipe, but I wanted to do a little bit of different to it um, and just kind of enhance it. Um, we're gonna have some tart in there, a lot of spice, and a lot of pepperiness to it. And then also too, um, we're gonna have this little thing I like to call because I loved it so much. Uh, in our restaurant, we used to have a charcuterie board um, and I kind of took the elements from that and then applied it to the actual topping of the Bloody Mary, as I call it the charcuterie stick. So with that being said, um, and going on the spicy route, Cholula to start, uh, I like to do eight to 10 dashes. Oh yeah, I like to have it hot and spicy, um, especially for this kind of stuff. Um, and then of course the Bloody Mary seasoning from Dimitri's. This is company is actually based out of Seattle. Good to know, they have plenty of different stuff. They actually make a pepperoni straw. So when you're making your Bloody Mary, you want a pepperoni stick and you can eat it. Highly suggest that. Uh, but not doing that today um so yeah these two and then some of course freshly cracked pepper so um hey like i say let's get into it all right so a little method too that i'm going to show you is usually for this type of drink you don't want to shake shake it um and of course stirring for other fancier cocktails but this style, when I, once I show you, we're gonna be rolling it. So back and forth motion, really easy. You don't wanna give this as much a froth to it. Um, it's kind of weird. Um, in my opinion, you can do the shake, but this is gonna make it so um, it doesn't get a lot of weird frothiness to it. All right, so first off, we are gonna put some ice into our mixer. Okay, just a little bit of ice. And you're gonna do about, I'd say, ooh, I'd say about 12 to 15 ounces of tomato juice. All right. Then, of course, the chula. Gotta get that kick. I did about eight to nine there. Okay. And then you're just gonna do a half ounce of the demira because it's a lot of seasoning. It's a really bold. It's sometimes it can be overpowering, so you just want to do just enough. Like so. And then just to have a little bit of that. Extra Worcestershire, yes, Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna do a list of the same amount. Actually, just do about one fourth. So just half this. Okay, like so. Okay, celery bitters. Now, since this is a small vial, it's not going to come out uh, like a stream, like a normal bitter bottle. We're just going to do a couple of drops. I actually kind of like celery in the background with this. Um, it kind of gives it a uh, refreshing twist to it. Okay. And, you know, because this is the hangover cure of all cures, of course, there's more. Um, I'll do two and a half because if you had a party night and you've had a really good time, two and a half ounce, you're you're doing good.
Boom. Okay. All right. And now, to give it the tartness, add about half a lemon. Okay. Lemon juice gives that nice tartness to it. much that came out so I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Okay. And now eight to ten cracks of freshly cracked pepper. Okay. So now for the rolling process. Get glass like so. Pour it in. Then you're gonna pour it back in. You can do it about two times just so it gets fully mixed. Just try it here. to our charcuterie stick. So, you can get out a stick like this, okay? Or, you know, toothpick or whatever kind of thing you want to use. Um, I'm gonna use a celery. So, celery, so, and pepper, a little red pepper, and some sharp cheddar, salami, and then a nice slice of focaccia bread. Oh yeah, gotta have that on a charcuterie board, of course. Or crostini, if you want. Um, and then the little olive at the end. Now, first off is, I'm gonna rim this with the lemon. Because I'm gonna show you, usually pepper is a choice, but eh, I'm gonna twist it up. Make sure that lemon is all coated on the rim of the jar. I like to use mason jars. Um, you can use your standard like Collins glass if you'd like. But we're going to use Montreal seasoning to top this off. And you're just going to roll like so. Go. Roll. Just enough because Montreal is really powerful. So. the drink. Always want to use a little bit of ice. And if you want to just kill it just a little bit, yeah, you know, just a little more tomato juice. Boom. Okay. All right. Now we're getting fancy. Cut the lovely celery stick. I like to keep the little top on, but you know, dress it up a little bit. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna put in like so, like this. Okay. Now it's time for the stick. So, first is focaccia bread. Okay. Next is our two pieces of awesome Salami. You can use any type of salami, prosciutto too, if you want to use that. And I'm using two pieces of sharp cheddar because I like it. Oh, damn. Careful here.
this crumbles, which I'm about to see right here, we're actually just gonna throw it on top. Make it easier for us. Okay, red pepper. Okay, so at first I'm gonna give you a little backstory while I'm cutting this red pepper. Um, my family is a huge and inf big influence in entertainment in my life as well as um, as well as for my sisters but also um, they really showed me how to entertain but also how to be um, super hospital as well as knowing how to make a damn good cocktail like my father um, so shout out to them thank you um, okay so got our piece here no it's not the best but hey now our olive. Boom. Look at that. Wish the cheese stuck on there, but that's okay. We're actually going to just throw this on top. Like that. done there you go okay let's try it come around here Ooh. Wow. yeah man that Cholula hmm definitely can tell this Bloody Mary seasoning with a sharp cheddar. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. So. Oh Jesus. Huh. Oh Jesus. I don't have to explain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to do a reversal review since I'm doing the drink and I usually do drink reviews with the food do food review to pair this um eggs benny yeah you gotta do eggs benny with this or if you're still in that like brunchy mode still to club sandwich and fries with bloody mary can't go wrong with that did not go wrong with that wow that is great yeah mm. Montreal. Mm. Gives a kind of smoky, like big tang, and then you get the nice acidic kick from the Cholula and the. Whew! Definitely can taste celery in there too. Very faintly though. Yeah. Well, there you have it, folks. Tenth episode. Cheers to thank you uh, for watching. And please, subscribe, comment, share, like. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to have you also send me some recipes um, in the comments below. I do have an email um, at the.cooked.goose at gmail.com where you can always find me on Instagram as well. But hey, Cheers to you and thank you so much for watching. And always remember to stay hungry.